Hello everyone, I'm Zoltan with Offroad Adventures. Since our last video, we've actually had a few inquiries about our differential breather setup. So I'm here to talk to you a little bit about it and show you what we have. Uh, unfortunately, this is not going to be an installation video because they're already installed on our truck. Uh, however, the reason we have them though is because the, the factory breathers are mounted right on top of the axle, in the back specifically. So what we want to do is we want to extend that because what happens is when you enter a, a body of water or a mud pit or anything along those lines, uh, one, you could potentially suck in water. Um, and the reason being is you're, you're pretty much shock cooling that housing, whatever is inside of it, uh, tends to condense. Specifically, whatever air is left inside of it tends to condense. And uh, that just ends up sucking in whatever water or mud you're going through. So what we do is we add what's called a differential breather kit um, in order to extend that range up higher on the vehicle. Um, we have an ARB kit installed right now, uh, mounted underneath the hood, and we're gonna show you all of it starting right now. This is our rear axle. The differential is housed inside this large portion here. So this is where the factory breather location normally is. As you can see, it's pretty low on the vehicle, which is why we use some hose that was provided to relocate it higher up. On Toyotas with electronic locking rear differentials, you have an additional breather tube that begins right here. What we've done here is mounted both of these breathers to a T intersection, a vacuum line fitting and then run a line up and over the fuel tank, through the frame, all the way to the front of the vehicle. So we only had to do it once. In the front, there are two breather tubes, one for the front differential, and the other one for, well, I'm not sure. If you know, tell me in the comments. Anyway, we've run those tubes together up to our junction block with the filter in the front. Now, as you can see here, there's a fourth line coming off of this junction block. It goes to the top of my bell housing, where the transmission breather is located. On the FJ, the transmission and transfer case both use this same breather. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a good picture or video of that breather, but I assure you it's there, and it is important. As you can see, we've splashed a ton of mud and water up onto this filter. Despite my crappy video, you can see it's completely clean on the inside, so I'd say it does a pretty good job. So if you are off-roading anywhere wet, such as where we are in Florida, I highly encourage you to install one of these kits or something comparable. It'll save you costly repairs down the road. Thank you for joining us today. Drop a comment or subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Until next time, we'll see you on Off-Road Adventures.